What's up, everyone? How's everyone doing? What's up, everyone? My name is Vince Williams. If you're new to my page, feel free to click up there, check out some of my magic videos. My goal is to hit 10,000 followers. If I can hit 10,000 followers, I'm going to be doing a merch giveaway. Hi, how you doing? What is this? Uh, just hanging out. Thank you for the follow. Yeah, I do magic. If you want to check out some of my magic videos for free, click up there. I'm trying to hit 10,000 followers. If I can hit 10,000 followers, I'm going to be doing a merch giveaway. But I pinned two magic videos if you want to go check them out. And I posted a new one a few days ago, so if you want to check that out, yeah. Um, what song is this? This is Hop Hawks, Nobody Else. They're a really good uh, cold wave band. Thank you for that follow. How's everyone doing? Is everyone having a good day so far? Thank you so much for the gift. Thank you so much for the follow. <laughs> Thank you for all the likes. Like I said, welcome, welcome. If you're new to my page, my name is Vince Williams. I do magic and freak show stuff. If you want to see more of my content, feel free to click up there. I'm going to be posting a lot more magic videos and just random performances. So, yeah. And like I said, if I can hit 10k followers on my profile, I'm going to do a merch giveaway and I'm going to be picking three people. And look, check this out. It's a little keychain goat with my logo in the middle of his head. And you'll be able to win stuff like that. But little plushies with... Um, Shirts, jackets, earrings. It's gonna be cool. Thank you so much for the follow. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Hello, how are you doing? Where's everyone tuning in from? Thank you so much for the follow. Tennessee, awesome. New York, welcome. Texas, oh, welcome Williams. Thank you. Thank you for tuning back in. Tampa, Virginia. Cool. How's everyone's day so far? I need to fix my camera because the glare is making it look so gross. I don't like it.
I'm gonna try to wipe off the lens real quick. Did that did that work? Yeah, I think that helped. Right, that helped a lot. That's good, I'm glad to hear. Thank you for tuning in. And thank you so much for the follow. My day was okay. Um, I'm working on the new magic video for this week. As well as rehearsing for my live show on the 27th of this month. I'm going to be performing in Houston, Texas. So yeah. Thank you. Well, I have a live feed. Yeah, I'm going to try to. And if not, regardless, um, I'm going to be posting the video on YouTube. So there'll, there'll be a performance of. Hello, how are you doing? And thank you so much. I appreciate your support. I really do. So I'm gonna have to... Not yet, not yet though. But I'm gonna have to work on the new magic video later on today, which I'm pretty stoked for. I talked about it a little bit yesterday, but... My weekend was okay, um, I kind of, yeah, I drank last night and I got it all up in my feels, but I feel better, um, to a degree, I, I feel reconnected because I kind of disconnected a little bit, um, but I guess drinking helped a little bit because now I kind of feel human, um, I'm still in a kind of a gloomy state of mind, but I'm trying to be optimistic and look past it and not really focus on it, you know? Just one of those days. Hope everyone's doing well. And thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Favorite movie or favorite horror movie? Because uh, I do have a favorite non-horror as well as uh, a favorite horror. Yeah. Uh, both, both, uh, favorite horror movie, well, <laughs> my favorite has always been, um, A Nightmare on Elm Street, the original, or my second top tier was always, um, Wes Craven's A New Nightmare, I always thought that one was super slept on, a lot of people didn't appreciate that one, and I thought the redesign of Freddy was just overall terrifying, but, um, 
my favorite horror movies like kind of it it changes you know but what got me into horror was the nightmare on elm street the original and favorite movie at the moment um man i don't know i feel like low l o low is gonna be up there for right now but i kind of like um what was that thriller the butterfly effect or the crow you know it's like i don't know they, they, there's so much oh the the horror posters yeah and i have a midsummer one sorry my room is a, is a mess right now That's definitely, um, but yeah, I used to work at the Alamo Draft House, which was a movie theater, and they sold beer, and I also did a lot of horror conventions, so I've always appreciated um, movie posters, so I would, any opportunity to get new ones, I would always try to snag some, so, and thank you so much. Oh, dude, that's that's unfortunate. I hope that um, it's not too bad of an experience. I know that it it differs between people, so I hope you're not too much in pain. And I pray for a speedy recovery for you. And be blessed and be well. I hope that you know you'll be able to feel better real soon. <coughs> Excuse me. And my favorite song at the moment. <clears throat> Let's see. I'm going to look on Spotify and see what it says. And I'll make a determination to see if it's accurate. Because sometimes it's not accurate. Which it's not accurate. Okay, I think, which it's weird because it's on number five on my most listened song, but I've definitely been listening to it a lot. Um, it's been Keep Your Eyes Peeled by Ocho Sun. Well, that's good. I'm glad, I'm glad that you're feeling better to a degree. Um, Hello, Steve. Thank you for tuning back in. I hope you're doing well today. Have I been to Vegas to sing Chris? No, I don't think I would go to to Vegas and spend money to see his show, unfortunately. I just have a, a certain opinion about him, but um, yeah, I've heard that it's really good. Um, maybe, you know. But that's not in any of my plans in the near future. Thank you so much for the follow, Patty. But yeah, it's, this song has been on my repeat for for a while. Definitely this week. I've been playing it for a while. So what's up? How you doing today? I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it, Dominic. Welcome, welcome. I am from Texas. I'm from San Antonio, Texas, but I'm always doing shows everywhere. The intention is to grow and hit 
like I said, on social media, 10,000 followers for the giveaway. But my true intention is to grow a tight-knit community, a strong enough, dedicated community that if I can do a show in California, there's enough demand. I know that people will come out and want to go check out the show. And um, yeah. Yeah, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I'm glad you think so. And I don't, I don't think I do. I don't think I do. A lot of people say that, but I don't, I don't think I do. But um, yeah, welcome the newcomers. If, if you're new to my page, my name is Vince Williams. I am a magician. Um, I like to call myself the alternative magician because I do shock magic and freak show stuff and I blend it. Um, if you want to see some of the stuff that I can do, make sure to click up there. Check out some of my videos. I'm going to be posting a lot more and uh, going live a lot more and doing live shows. And yeah. It's going to be a fun time. Thank you so much. A lot of people like to give me, uh, they like to judge my hair, but I like it. I think it grabs people's attention, like good or bad. And I'm just like, as long as, you know, because people will judge me about my hair or my style, but then um, I'll just end up doing my magic and stuff and then it speaks for itself. So my earring. Uh, which one? Because I have two. Uh, here, I'll take it off. Oh, and I'm getting Vince Williams earrings as well. I'll show you guys here in a second. But I have a bat. I have my cross that has black little... It's missing diamonds, though. And then I have... Yeah. And look, um, I showed this off earlier. Oh, look at this guy. It's a little Vince Williams goat with the, the VW logo in the middle of his head. It's a little plushy. And it's a little keychain. But, um, yeah, I'm going to be releasing the Discord link for all the ones that want to engulf themselves in the magic community that I'm building. You can vote on potential merch designs, future drops. Uh, you can get percentages off just for supporting, like, the brand, like, sharing the clips, um, like, making compilations. Um, and also you'll be able to win stuff like that, that not a lot of people that can buy off my website, you know, like regular shirts or, or, you know, like coats or long sleeves, you know, you'll be able to get the, these plushies, like this cool little flags, you know, with my logo. Um, yeah. And then stuff like this which is like drink coasters for my coffee drinkers. And yes, it's dishwashers friendly because it has this coating. You can't really see it. There it is. It has this coating so you can put it in there. And yeah, it says join the VW cult. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate it. And look, check this out. See, look, check this out. See, it's little Vince Williams earrings. So you'll be able to hang them all like this. But they're of the logo. So it's pretty cool. I have really cool, like, little uh, incentives for the people that join um, the Discord channel.
Thank you so much for the follow. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Uh, how do I learn my magic? Uh, I'm self. I do a lot of self-taught methods, um, or I just network with other magicians. I just been doing magic for so long that um, I rarely expand my arsenal because I know a lot of sleight of hand. I I have my repertoire, but every now and again, you know, I'll see. Because we're just like any other industry. There's websites, unfortunately, that you can just money speak. So you can buy the better trick and all that stuff. But I like to keep it um, hands-on. I don't like to just rely on, on stuff like that. And thank y'all for the follow. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. For the realist. Thank you for the question, by the way. Thank you so much for the follow. Thank you, thank you. How's everyone? Like I said, my goal is 10,000 followers. If I can hit 10,000 followers, I'm going to do a merch giveaway. I'm going to pick three winners. Three winners to, pick, to win merch. So go ahead and check that out. Go, go click up there. Check out some of my magic videos, leave a comment, and then come back. Thank you. Do I have tattoos? Yes, I do. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I got these. And then some on my wrist, like three. So, but yeah, sorry, I have a jack. I have a jacket and long sleeves on. Is that a heartbeat? Uh, no, it's like, it's a little heart. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. So, I'm vegetarian, so I like cheese pizza. But I also like basil, parsley, roasted tomatoes, roasted peppers, and all that good stuff. So.
ఉంటారు థ్యాంక్ యూ సో మచ్ I stick screwdrivers and hooks, so it's pretty fun. Thank you so much. Like I said, if you want to see more of the stuff that I can do, make sure to click right there, hit follow. Make sure to turn on the bell so you get notified of my next lives and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, because I'm going to be doing like more out crazy stuff. I'm just kind of playing it safe right now i want to build uh like i said the dedicated community once i start building the numbers then i start doing the edgy stuff like the other night i turned off a cigarette on my tongue you know thank you so much i appreciate it and thank you for the follow thank you thank you well i'm glad that you got to see some of the, one of the little things that i can do uh sometimes depending on my live show sometimes i'll up the ante you know like i'll put like four nails you know and i'll be hammering them in like so it's it's real it's truly an experience in my opinion so that's why i want to branch out and uh just expand and and meet more people and just share the overall experience you know Yeah, Russell Brand. Uh yeah, I I'm familiar with that that individual. Hello Dead Goro. How are you doing? Hair like Russell Brand. Okay. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. I just I rock my hair, hair just depending on how I feel. You know, sometimes it's super just chill. Today I just felt like putting it up I'm doing all right um feeling a little human a little gloomy but you know I'm still trying to be optimistic I'm trying to um not focus on it so I think I'm doing okay I am a fan of, of Russell Brand as well he he uh I like to support him so How long have I been doing magic? I've been doing magic for well over like 20 some years. Um Yeah, well over 20 something years. And welcome everyone. Welcome, welcome. But when I started actually selling merch and doing shows and uh doing tours and stuff, um I'm going on 9 years. So hopefully i can just keep continued to gravitate and cuz i have really cool ideas for my live show you know but it does require a level of uh support team and community in order to uh manifest this bigger show and you know to a wider audience and stuff because um on the real i want to do like a tribute like performance for my mentor you know um my mentor taught me a lot about the business aspect and he passed away when he was 28 you know and you know and it still left a big scar in my life you know personally because not only was he my roommate but like i said he taught me everything it was to gravitate my passion into a business and to become an entrepreneur so there was a routine that he would do in in corpus and he was very known in corpus um but there was a routine like he would do with like ropes and stuff like that and um i want to do like i want to be able to do a, a show where for i want to end the show you know the last 10 minutes you know to 15 i want to be able to uh pay homage to him you know because we were supposed to go on tour um literally like a month before he passed you know like he was coming back from a show and 
this car didn't see the stop sign and ended up, uh, you know, wrecking into him and he ended up passing away and stuff. And, you know, I felt like I just never really had closure. And especially, like I said, we we're supposed to go on tour and we we're supposed to do these shows and stuff. And every time I step on a stage now, it's different, you know. So I, I want to be able to do something for him. And I want people to not forget, you know, his name either, you know, because he he did so much for my career, you know, like he's put me on the biggest stages and he's helped me build my platform and he supported me when like no other person ever really did aside from my mom, you know, so yeah. Yeah, in the tribute, I I haven't, like, I know what I want to do. I just don't want to talk about it right now because my industry is full of people that will hear an idea and then run with it. And it's something beautiful and it's something that truly means a lot to me, you know. So I would love to um, do that for him, you know. I would like to, to share that moment, you know, and... The idea that I have, you know, I feel like is is very unique, and I want people to experience it firsthand by the person that was somewhat close to him, you know, because I wasn't the closest, closest, you know, but I was close to him, you know, like, I considered him, you know, like my brother, you know, and he understood me, and he supported me, and through thick and thin for years and years and years, and, um, it's the type of stuff that, like, if I, hi, how are you doing? Um, but it's the kind of stuff that's, like, if I look on my memories on Facebook, I will see his comments, you know? So, he always supported me, and, and I want to just know that his energy is still um, living on, you know? And I want people to feel that, so... Yeah, like I said, that's why I'm, I'm trying so hard to uh to to do this you know to build that community you know to put in the time the blood the sweat the tears you know to do something greater than what i've done you know and because like i said at the time when i first started performing like i was I was just a performer like I wasn't even that good of a performer for that and he ended up just picking me up and teaching me the ropes and uh, you know he didn't have to you know but he did so for that I'm internally I'm just internally grateful for for that you know and I wish I could have I definitely wish I could have told him you know like in person so and thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Yeah, it's just, I don't know. Yeah, I hope. You know, I really do. Cause Yeah, he, he was he was good people. You know, he he was he was really good people. And like um he reminded me of my first best friend that, that passed away. And that's why it hurt so much. Cause like Val, that was his name. Um Val his birthday was, was Friday. And, you know, it still feels so surreal, you know, it still feels like, it just doesn't feel like reality sometimes, and he just, he, he got me, you know, where I don't celebrate my birthday, I don't celebrate the holidays, because for one, I just never could afford to, because life, you know, happened, so I just, 
it was always survival, survival. So I just never had the time to focus on, you know, birthdays or anything. And but he would always show up, and he was he would always be like, "Hey, I know that you get bummed around this time, and I understand why, but." Here, I got you a gift. I got you a bottle. Like, um, if you want to hang out, you know, I'll be, I'll be around. But I wanted to stop by and say hello, and you know, and he, he understood that. You know, he understood the fact that I'm a very complicated person. You know, so yeah, you know it. It was so strange because, like, when we were roommates, there was this magic comedy video that we would watch, and we would always quote it. And I remember the day, because he was always on Facebook, and I I messaged him for some reason. I found that video, and then I sent it like to him, and then he didn't respond. And I remember I sent it to him, and I was like, "Hey, man, I don't know if you remember, but remember this video? It just popped up, and it was like the universe, because like two two hours later, that's when a friend of mine uh, got a hold of me, and he told me, "Hey, man, did you hear the news?" And he called me, and then he told me about Val. Yeah. This year will be two years. Sorry, I had to uh, smoke real quick. Yeah, he was he was just my friend, you know. And magic just hasn't been the it doesn't it doesn't feel the same anymore, you know? Because like I would be able to call him and talk about magic no no matter the time of day and like we could just talk like hours and hours about magic you know and it never got old it didn't feel like we were you know bugging each other or it was competition you know and even a mutual friend that i try to relate to because he he knows this guy too you know it's always like a competition you know like when we talk about magic and with val it was never a competition like ever, it was never a competition. It was always supporting. It was always different. But you know, so it, it's hard to to cope with it sometimes. It's it's hard to to think about it sometimes, but. And thank you so much. Like I said, welcome. If you're new to my page, feel free to click up there. Check out some of my magic videos. Um, I'm going to be posting a new magic video. So feel free to leave a comment on some of my videos. My goal is 10,000 followers. If I can hit 10,000 followers, I'm going to do a merch giveaway. I'm going to pick three winners. Hey, Jazz. How are you doing? How's everyone doing?
Yeah, it's just sometimes it, it hits, you know? Sometimes it hits me, and and I I do, I just miss him. You know, I miss his company. I miss the friendship. And it sucks because, like, I met him through the hobby. I met him through the, the, the passion of the craft, you know, the magic. So it's hard not to associate a lot of my memories, you know, with Val. Yeah, like I said, welcome, welcome. Um, I am from San Antonio, Texas. My name is Vince Williams. I am a magician and a freak show artist. So if you want to check out some of my stuff, make sure to click up there. Leave a comment on a couple of my videos. I'm trying to hit 10,000 uh, followers. If I can hit 10,000 followers, I'm going to do a merch giveaway. But welcome. I hope everyone's doing well. hope everyone's having a good weekend. Good Saturday. Sunday? Sunday? Sorry, my days are mixed up. Sunday. Hope everyone's having a good Sunday so far. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hopefully I get to see you again as a recurring viewer. Uh, be blessed. Be well. Um, I hope you have a good rest of your day. And yeah, thank you so much for tuning in. It does feel very nice outside for once. I'm glad. Usually it feels gross out. But it finally feels nice. It rained a little bit too, so that's always nice. Both of those questions are a mystery. Now I'm Hispanic. And I'm ancient. I'm like gargoyle. I'm I'm super ancient. I'm gargoyle. Just know that. Yeah, yeah, I feel that with the, the humidity. I love the rain too. Has it really? Damn. And also, I don't want my VW random. I don't want my VW brand to represent just the magic because I'm also working on numerous different projects as well as music. So just putting that out there. I appreciate that energy. I really do. Like, much love to you. Be blessed. Be well. <laughs> I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for that positivity. I appreciate that. I really do. Oh yeah, like, I mean, if you wanna check out some of my merch, you can click the link in my bio. Uh, it'll take you to my link tree. And then you, you can check out some of the, the merch designs. But however, in a month, I'm going to be getting rid of pretty much like 90% of the inventory so I can update pretty much all of them and release some of the new designs that I've been wanting to release. So, yeah, that's, that's a be forewarned, but yeah. And thank you so much. I appreciate that. Hopefully with the right support, you know, because... 
I just want, like I said, if I can build that community and stuff, then, you know, I just want to be an artist with free range and just inspire, you know, through all the bullshit I've gone through, if I'm being honest. Uh, what kind of style of music? So, um, that is going to be a... So, um, I don't necessarily want to talk about it because... It's going to be, in in my opinion, I don't know, like, it's it's almost like dark wave, cold wave, but it's also kind of have elements of, like, pop, and uh, it's going to have groove, but then also at the same time, I'm not going to stick to one genre, like, I've been working on just different sounds for different EPs, so it's just going to be a project, you know, and on some real, I know that some people are going to like some of the other music opposed to the other ones I'm going to release, but ultimately I just want to, I just want to get the creative juices out and just, you know, let it sit. Um, for years I had this, when we first went on quarantine, I did this thing called the quarantine sessions, which is still up on YouTube. Uh, but all of those instrumentals and, and samples I used are going to be part of the music. You know, they're, they're going to be on SoundCloud as part of an EP so people can listen to. But um, this has been something that I've been planning for years, for years. But yeah, it's going to be a side project, but I'm going to try to keep it on the hush hush until I can legitimize a lot of the projects itself because I do want to... Uh, dive headfirst into that project once I start releasing. So, yeah. What was this? Everyone says that, but I don't, I don't see that. Yeah, so I haven't talked about it because... Um, it is a project, it is still under the, the works, but once I start getting uh, that consistent support and I, I feel comfortable releasing the music I do have, um, because I've been working on music for a very long time, I just haven't really released it or advertised. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. It's one of my favorite frames. Look at them. Aren't these nice? They have a little spring. Yeah. Um, so I've been working on it for, for quite some time. I just haven't really talked about it because I don't like to say I'm a musician, I'm a singer, I'm a rapper, I'm whatever. Like, I don't, I don't like, I, I'm, I just like focusing on art, you know, and if people like it, then people like it, you know. But it's all um, ideas that I have. They're all projects in the works. But who's to say, hopefully soon I can release um, some of the music stuff. Hey, how you doing? But I do have pretty much enough for like two, um, two EPs, which is pretty cool. But um, yeah, sometimes my friends will like freak out because they'll put it on an instrumental and I'll start like coming up with like a hook or some verses and like they're just like, dude, you do music? And I'm like, yeah, I originally wanted to be a musician, but then magic became my passion. And so I just prioritize the magic over the music. But uh, further down in my career, hopefully if I'm blessed enough, I will be able to uh, branch out as far as my creative um, projects go. So I don't want to just be limited to the magic. You know, that's why, again, I want to build that community first and foremost. My favorite gravy? I don't like gravy. I'm vegetarian, and I don't know, gravy just freaks me out.
Exactly. Art is infinite. Exactly. Like, that's why on Samuel I respected Chris Angel for what he did. Because he was not only a magician, but he produced his show. He was a working artist. He did a lot of the soundtrack to his show that he produced, wrote, and uh, starred in. So, and he came up with that character. He sold merch, you know. So, I mean, I respect him to a degree because of the hustle, you know. And, like, he, w he had good, a good plan, you know. And, like, I can't hate on him for that because, like, he had his music and, you know, he self-produced and he worked with Korn and, you know what I mean? So, it's, and, and Godsmack and, uh, so, I mean, he, he was revolutionary for what he was doing. I just wish that he was more genuine as an artist versus a sleazeball, but, yeah. Yeah, like, I'll be lying, you know, like, uh, David Blaine inspired a lot of, of my, my performing aspects, but when it comes to a business, an entrepreneur, and building myself as an artist, I got a lot of inspiration from Chris, you know, like, I saw, I mean, that's how I got on the radio over here, is I pretty much followed what Chris did in his early start in the career, you know, because I knew that I had a look... I knew that my set routine I can do in my sleep, you know, so I could rock a room if I need to, you know, I can vibe out. I don't have to be in just the alternative scene. I can be in the mainstream as well and keep integrity, you know, so it's, uh, I took a lot from how Chris did his business moves, you know, and so I, I respect him to a degree, you know, but it's hard for me to know what I know and then try to go and uh, purchase like tickets you know from him um, unless I'm told otherwise you know and because I could be wrong you know but from what my perception of this individual is is not necessarily the greatest uh, track record you know I hope so, you know, I'm trying to breathe a new, I'm trying to bring respect back into the craft, you know, as a performer, because I see a lot of my industry greats, they're successful now, but they sold out, you know, they're doing things for views, and, you know, they're not really individuals, they're just, they hide behind the magic, you know, and, you know, and, and on top of that, you see a lot of people revealing magic versus, you know, enjoying, you know, the piece of art, you know, because they're, what do you expect when you get people that don't put in the time to learn these effects to get them like on perfect or be honest with yourself and be like, yo, it's a skill that I'm trying to perfect. You know, it's not, I don't hold a mystic, uh, a, a mystical power. Like if that's part of your thing, then okay. You know, at least make sure your content lives up to that. But people are so fascinated with a quick view a share, a comment that they will reveal magic, you know, instead of, you know, taking time and trying to become a, an icon of some sort, you know, because to be honest, I'm just like, and, and thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you. Thank you. Be blessed. Be well. Hopefully I'll see you again in, in, in the next stream and stuff. But yeah, thank you so much. But yeah, it's like, to be honest, I don't see, like, a magician that, that represents, like, 6 9 in our industry. I don't see a trippy red of our industry. I don't see a little peep of our industry or an XX Tentacion or a Juice Ward. Or, you know what I mean? Like, I don't see, we got David Copperfield, we have David Blaine, we have Chris Angel. But also, there's people that I'm pretty sure you guys haven't even heard of, like Dan Sperry, Dan and Dave, Wayne Houchin. Uh, Brian Brushwood, you know, like all these industry magicians that choose to to stick within the or not even choose, but they there's a lot of limitations and restrictions, you know, and and this industry. I remember I did a trick. It's up on my YouTube and Instagram. 
I think it's still on my Instagram. I remember it was trying to get uh, removed. Instagram tried getting my stuff removed and as well as the magic industry. But when I was going through like um, a lot of the the hardship in my life, I would speak through my art and my content. So for the longest time, whenever I was depressed or I was going through a lot of stuff, I would film a magic trick, but I would find a song that I knew I was going to write and make it into a deep song about how I'm feeling and going through. And I found a sample of an artist that I looked up to, whether that was a musician, a rapper, a singer, and I would find them talking about a specific subject, whether that's depression, PTSD, uh, drug abuse, and I would sample that along with the magic trick, you know, so it's, there's layers to it, you know what I mean? I did one for all the single dads out there, you know, that can relate to my story, you know, and I sampled, you know, a podcast of Joe Rogan talking about being an artist and being a dad, you know, and it's all this like, and I remember the magic industry came down on me because I, I filmed a trick that it was uh, a card, like just a regular uh, playing card, and then it changed to a baggie of like white substance. And it had the music playing, and it had MGK talking about how he is how do you expect to be judged and hurt by the world and not have something to lean on and at the time i was dealing with my personal demons my addiction but the name of the video was magic is my drug so the card was changing to the to the baggie so it was a visual representation of magic being my drug and vice versa. But people just saw the surface and saw, saw the, the baggie and was like, oh, he's glorifying drugs. But I want people to step beyond their comfort zone and be like, no, dude, like it, this is the real world. This is things that we, we deal with. You know, this, I know there's people that deal with that on an everyday basis, you know, young and old, you know, so... It's just part of the journey. It's part of me expressing myself as an, as an artist, you know? Um, I have a daughter. She's seven. But that's why I push so hard on my craft. That's why I, I do the shows. I, I try to, you know, I have the merch. I market. I do my shows. Like, everything's a rhyme and a reason, you know? Like, I have intentions of building a community that will support one another not just oh this guy is a magician and i'm just going to follow him for the tricks it's like i want people to understand that i'm a human at the end of the day and i've gone through so much like i'm i'm starting this story time with the bands i used to to perform for as well as some of the personal struggles i've gone through where like there were tricks to teach you how to make a phone or a deck of cards disappear, but I was using that to make food, pampers, um, like necessities disappear. And I, yeah, I was stealing at the time, you know, but I had a one-year-old to feed and I was struggling. We were both struggling, you know, me and her mom. And like, so I would be out on the streets busking, you know, earning tips. This was before I met my mentor. And that's why I have so much respect for him because he taught me how to raise the bar and not just be a survivalist, but you can be a business and you can, you know, do it the right way because he saw me struggling and going through all of that. And I think we as artists should be able to talk about that, you know, and not hide behind, oh, I just do magic and that's it. It's like, no, there's more to it. You know, these tricks literally fed myself and my daughter. You know, so why can't I build a community of like-minded individuals and that will support us to there and beyond, you know, like.
because I've done a lot. I've done a lot and I've sacrificed a lot, you know, not only for me, but for my little one, you know, for our future. You know, even the logo that's Vince Williams, Williams is my mom's maiden, uh, maiden last name. So I took that as a nod to her because she inspired me. She was the only one to believe me other than Val. So it's like my brand, everything about my, my brand, my symbol is built off of love. It's built off of compassion, empathy, you know, and inspiration from others, you know. So I want to give back to that because I remember being young and like looking up to these artists and like looking at interviews and you know, and they, they took me away from my bullshit, you know, and they inspired me. I was like, oh, I can be a musician. I, I can be this, you know, and, and be a father and have, you know, this. Oh, this is cool, you know. So I want to be part of that good energy. You know, I don't want to be about that. Oh, I want to go viral. I want to have, you know, glitz and the glam and the show. Like, no, dude. Like, I'm trying to put, at the end of the day, I'm trying to put money in my daughter's account for her future all while showing her that you can do it while being an individual and no she doesn't have to follow the stu the my footsteps at all i just want to show her how beautiful it is that you can be your individual self manifest good if you choose cuz who's to say what if she wants to be a lawyer still that money's still going to go pay for her college so she can go be a lawyer you know what I mean? It's just life is so short. Life is so short. Like I've seen the good and the bad fall in a quick, quick, quick time period. So I'm like, why not try to reach for greatness while you're still living and breathing? And there's enough room up there for everyone. That's the thing for everyone. But people get fixated and they think that it's moments you have to climb over and disrespect and be like this but no that's not how it works real recognizes real and it's all about a team it's about a community you can't do it by yourself i mean you can but what is that really going to do like what is it really going to do you're doing it for the wrong reasons at that point And thank you so much. And sorry for going on this rant, but it's kind of like, like I said, I want to I wanna make it on Sway in the Morning, Breakfast Club, No Jumper. You know, I want to make it on these podcasts. I want to make it so I can tell my story. So I can be like, no, there's strength in numbers. Like, I'm not the only one out there. Look at my community. Look at my community. They have my back as much as I have theirs. Like, I want that energy that if I'm like, all right, everyone, call the radio station Let's get all the, the people, let's get questions in, let's get some support. I want that energy where I know people are going to have my back in that moment. Because they relate. They know that all of this is for my daughter. So she can look back too. Look back in the, on the videos and then be like, damn, look how they're respecting my old man. <laughs> like, damn, like this, is, like this is awesome. And he's talking about us. And it's for our future. Like, I want that, you know? And every day I'm, I'm, I'm manifesting, I'm hoping, blood, sweat, tears to manifest greatness, you know. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping that the universe can fill my energy and resonate. Because I know I'm not the only one out there. But yeah, that's why I appreciate everyone that stays in the live, tunes in, leaves a comment, you know, shows their support. All of that means immensely to me more than I could ever express but I know one day I'll be able to fully show it through my community Oh yeah, never. Like I've, I, that's the thing. I know my, I know, my core supporters, and that's why I don't call them followers or fans. They're my supporters. I know my true supporters. I know everyone that comes in and spends time with me. It's like you guys are my friends. You know, 
So I'm always about, you know, giving credit, giving due, you know, giving respect and just love and be humble, you know, be humble. Because I remember the lows as well. That's why I, I remember the lows. Like, I remember when I was doing America's Got Talent. And once everyone picked up wind, that the guy that they used to pick on and throw in trash cans and jump and beat up and, you know, smack books out of, out of his hand and all this stuff, started being on the radio, started doing magic as a career so I was getting messages like crazy there was a guy that was like man I remember you back in in junior year like you were showing magic during the football games that's that was so cool and I'm like yeah dude I remember you you were one out of three persons that when I my cards fell and I went down to pick it up you literally walked over me and put your crotch in my face and just poof and walked over me while I was picking up my cards and y'all all laughed. Like, I'm like, yeah, I remember you, man. Nothing. So it, it's strange, you know, it, it's strange. But I want the real ones to know that despite the upbringing and the experiences, you can rise above it, you know, and rise against it. And I remember those lows. I remember those, the way I've been treated before. So I'm, it humbles and I don't get fixated on the fact that it's like, I do magic, you know, cause it's like, yeah, but I mean, you know, I'm just, I'm just a person, you know? Yeah, and I feel, I feel you, and thank you so much for uh, blessing me. Uh, that's another thing, too. Like, I don't want my community to feel so pressured and try to believe in one belief, you know? But I understand that that comes out of a place of love, and that's why I receive that, you know? And um, I'm, I'm wishing you blessing, too. Like, and, I, and thank you so much for, for tuning in and stuff, you know? But I just don't want that pressure, you know what I mean? Because I know that sometimes people will come in and, and be judgmental. But I want the real ones to know that it doesn't matter. This world is too big. You know, it's too big to, to expect perfectness. We're just here to support each other, love each other, whether that's in our way. But we're, we just respect each other at the end of the day. That's it. You know? And I appreciate y'all. I really do. And I appreciate the ones that uh, are having a conversation, letting me talk. Um... I really do appreciate that. It means a lot to me. Well, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you, thank you. And you have a good rest of your evening, I'm assuming. But um, be blessed, be well. Hopefully I see you in, in the future. But yeah, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, exactly, you know, and like, I know as silly as it sounds, like, that's why I picked as, I picked a controversial name for my channel, being even the Magic Devil being one, the other one being uh, the cult, the VW cult, that's going to be the supporters, that's going to be the community name. I know a lot of people, even when I started releasing the merch, the join the cult. Like, I know people are going to be like, oh, cult? What the heck? 
but it's a play on words, you know, it's a play on those ideas, you know, because people are going to judge, people are going to say, oh, da, 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 but just like they'll judge the way that my outer vessel looks, but if you actually take the time to get to know me and get to know the community, it's not anything like that, you know, we're going to have religious people, we're going to have non-religious people, we're going to have people that believe in science and evolution and then others, like, it's just, like, Life is too short to be trying to convince each other that, oh, you're right, I'm wrong. As long as you're not harming anyone or yourself, you know, you're doing good. You know, you're doing good. Yeah, because I know that, like I said, people are going to judge. That's the first thing. You know, naturally, that's what people do, um, especially when they don't understand something. But I'm in the process of, like I said, building that community because I know, I know for a fact that there's a lot of people that can relate and there's a lot of people that, I don't think I'm inspirational. I don't think that I'm above anyone else. I don't think any of that. I'm just tired of being conformed into a box. So I want I want to be the one to take initiative and just, you know, release my content, you know, have these crazy ideas and, you know, not be limited, you know, and just, you know, bring people together, you know, and on some on some real be a force to be reckoned with in the industry because i feel like it'll be fun it'll just be fun to just kind of poke my nose in and be like sup vince williams boom and then i'm like okay gotta go bye and then i like leave and then do whatever that i'm gonna do you know what i mean and then i'll have everyone to support and we're all on the same page you know because it doesn't matter like that side of the industry and all that stuff it don't matter like we're here to network as long as i can reach more people i'm gonna do it you know because at the end of the day you know i know where my intentions lie you know and i know what i want to achieve through my brand so exactly the judgment and separation you know um i'm not a fan of that either you know i just feel like this life is filled with beautiful things you know we just have to see beyond everything at the moment, you know, and I feel like there are strength in numbers. You know, I feel like they're genuinely strength in numbers. And the stronger the movement is, the stronger the numbers, you know, and at the end of the day, like I said, uh, while it lasts, you know, because this, this sort of thing is going to last forever, you know, so... It's just being realistic, supporting one another, and um, having each other's backs at the end of the day, you know? Because sometimes I want to go on live and express my frustration because I don't have friends, you know? I don't have family that I can trust, you know? So I, I want people that I can go and express myself to my community, and it's comfortable, you know? There's no pressure, like, I'm not going to get okay stop crying like where, where's the magic you know it's gonna be just support you know and it's likewise you know if somebody if i'm you know chatting with random you know uh guests within the community and you want to hop on and ask me questions just be like dude i feel like i can vent to you or this community you know and i'm not judged by all means you know that's that's what i want i, I want that comfortability you know and if anybody tries to be like oh the cult what the hell it's a bunch of weirdos there's a bunch of dudes. i'm gonna be like no you know this is my community if if that's how you feel about that community then that's how you feel about me as an individual because they're a re literal reflection of all the things i've gone through you know they're, they're a literal ref a reflection they're just a physical manifestation it's community so it is just yeah Yeah, exactly. Blood, uh, I don't believe that blood has to be the only means of family, you know. 
because I've met genuine people that I'll never forget in my life that aren't even related to me, you know, but their love, their compassion touched my soul enough that I'll never forget them, you know, and I want to be able to have that, you know, because I remember being a youngster and having that on the regular. I remember even if I was homeless, you know, I would still run into those genuine, genuine. Now it seems like the older that you get and like the more life starts to get a little bit more uh, harsh, like the reality starts setting in and then it gets more difficult, you know, to, to find that energy and surround yourself with that energy, you know, so why not build a community and to, to bring, you know, that back into your life. Yeah. Oh, 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 I like the fact that you don't like me. I like the fact that you don't like me. I like the fact that you don't like me. Hello, Valley or Val Kill. I'm gonna call you V. I'm gonna call you V. I don't wanna butcher your name. Hey V, how you doing? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're having a good uh, Sunday and I hope you had a good weekend. We're just hanging out, vibing. Hello, Allison, how you doing? Welcome, welcome. Oh, you worked all weekend? Okay. Uh, I drank last night, which, I mean, I feel okay now. Um, I'm a little gloomy, but I feel human. I was super disconnected by Friday, so I felt like drinking kind of leveled me out again. So, I'm alright. I'm doing alright. I'm doing alright, Allison. Welcome. If you're new to my page, feel free to click up there. Check out some of my magic videos. I just posted a couple magic videos. If you want to leave a comment and stuff like that, I would highly appreciate it. My goal is to hit 10,000 followers. If I can hit 10,000 followers, I'm going to pick three people to win merch. Which may or may not include the little VW goat with the logo on the head. And he's an so cute. You can put it on your screen. I'm sick of my medication. Mm -hmm.
Thank you so much, 666. Welcome, welcome. My name is Vince Williams. I do magic and freak show stuff, so if you want to check out some of my videos, feel free. Leave a comment. My goal is to hit 10,000 followers. And thank you so much. Like, a lot of people like to give me shit about my hair, but I don't really care. Sometimes I'm just like, sometimes it's a vibe, sometimes it's not. I'm like, life is too short to really care. How you doing today? I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much. I'm so glad you think so. I really do. Thank you. I hope you're doing well. I hope you had a pretty chill weekend. You're making tacos? That sounds good. I do need to eat. I haven't eaten today. I have a weird relationship with food sometimes. Oh, I feel that getting there. As long as you're continuing to uh, do good, then that's all that matters. I hope that um, your stresses relieve a little bit, but I feel you. So loud, dude. Getting too hype over here. Yeah. 
can't do that. If I play one more, I'll just fucking just stay on the ground, so. I'm not told to stay on the ground. Yeah, bro, fucking, I gotta go take the family. Sorry, no, I need to calm down. Oh, yeah, you, you gotta go. <laughs> Hello, hello. If you're new to my page, welcome. Make sure to check out some of my magic videos if you like. Just click up there. Leave a comment. I would appreciate any sort of support. And make sure to hit the bell as well. So you get notified whenever I go live. It's just the two of us tonight. What kind of music am I into? Uh, pretty much anything that sounds good. Uh, I listen to a lot of industrial, cold wave, dark wave. Um, obviously, I I mean my music span is is if it feels if it sounds good, you know, then I'll listen to it. You know. Yeah, but I think I'm going to go ahead and hop off. I'm going to work on the new Magic video, which I'm super excited for because it's not going to be like a card trick or anything. It's going to be something pretty cool. But um, I'm going to try to go live again later on in the next maybe two hours to three hours. But um, hopefully I see all you there. Um, if not, you have a good start to your week, a good end to your weekend. Be blessed, be well, everyone, and hopefully, like I said, I'll see you in the next uh, video. But yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. Be blessed. Be well. Love y'all. All right.